Okay, before we get into envelope deformation, uh, you've got to make a decision on your project because there's a good chance you can um, do what you need to do without actually using it. So I'll just do a quick demo of what I mean. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Let's just do a square. Let's make that white. Let's make sure that's a sharp edge. Yeah. And draw a circle. Let's make that blue. Let's grab the select tool. Let's just m match the edges so it fills completely. Something like that. Uh, okay, yeah. So if you wanted to um, say uh, square off that edge just there. You just go to path, object to path, go onto the nodes tool, create a new node by double clicking on the on the object. Zoom in and just drag it up to snap onto the edge. And then grab these handles and just pack them away onto the node. No need to use envelope deformation for that one so just have a think before you get stuck in with getting all of the complexities going um, can I do what I need to do a simpler way so for this example I found an old apricot box in the house uh, and I just noticed the the northern apricots lettering would work really well for this example so I'm gonna find a font a typeface that looks similar to this and uh, we're gonna have a crack at it I've used um, Franklin Gothic medium that seems to be a pretty good match. It's not perfect, but it will do for what we want uh, I'm just gonna increase the height of it uh, One thing with envelope deformation. It doesn't seem to like to compress it likes to stretch I need to compress this sec uh, center section quite a bit So before we go any further now, I'm happy with the size of it uh, We're gonna go to path object to path and then we'll need to go Let's just make sure that's gone to nodes. Yeah, they're all individual. So we go to path and path effects. And we're going to hit this little plus tab here, which brings up a dialog box with a few selections, quite a lot of selections actually. Um, we're just going to go to envelope deformation and click the tick box. And that'll give us a few options down the bottom. Now, what we actually want to do is squat, squash the center section and raise the edges. So I think I'm going to raise the edges first. So we're going to go to top bend path, that first one, edit on canvas. And what that'll do, if I just zoom in, that's created a green line, which we can now get hold of. I'm going to go into the corner. I'm just going to raise that up. And do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to come back to the center, probably about there. I'm just going to bend that back down. And already, without too much effort, that's um, that's a pretty good match. There's the odd section, like the S. The S is pretty well deformed, and this O is looking pretty bad. Um, but what we can do now is go path, object to path again, back onto nodes, and the new selection, the, the new edits you've made are now paths. So it, now down to you really how much time you want to spend making that look correct. Okay, another way of doing it is to use lattice deformation, which is a, gives you a little bit more control, especially over things like lettering, where you need to maintain the original um, proportions. So let's just select all that. I've already made it a path, so I'm just going to hit the plus tab there and go to lattice deformation. If you haven't made 
your lettering a or your object a path you won't get the plus sign it won't be illuminated you won't be able to select it so um, that's lattice deformation is selected so we're going to go back to nodes and that will give you like what I call the, the guitar strings over the lettering and now we can begin to manipulate how we want I'm holding down the control key to make sure the lettering stays straight if I let go of the control key I can I can move it I can bend it in all sorts of directions which I don't really want to do on this one it's just a case of bringing each one of these down in turn you just got to make sure you make smallish moves as to not deform it too much and if you accidentally click off you'll lose your matrix so if you go back to the select tool select all the lettering and then go back to nodes tool you'll get your matrix back